Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and despite it being 2020, and well, we thought phone systems would be replaced by now, and we'd just be using just some type of magical video system, and all those video systems exist in 2020, phones are still ringing, and we're still installing and still replacing antiquated systems with VoIP systems, and phones are still very relevant here in 2020. But the question comes up, do you put it in the cloud? Do you use an on-prem PBX? Well, let's go over some cost analysis. I'm gonna show you some numbers, put together a spreadsheet to help you make an informed decision and talk about different use cases for that. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you wanna support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not. So go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. Now, right off the start here, I wanna talk about the edge cases as in the really small businesses in terms of their phone needs, and they only need like maybe one to three phones, maybe even four phones. On-prem may not make a whole lot of sense for you. It will save you money over time, but not near as substantial as the example we're gonna do with a 13 phone system office. So if you're a small business, and we sell a lot of these, like we have a salon, we have a couple law offices, and lots of other small businesses that only need like two phones, well, the cloud systems work great. Uh, we've been really happy with a couple different options on there. I'm not gonna endorse any particular one at this moment. Uh, but for examples, we are gonna be covering Ring Central in this because they have all their prices listed publicly. So in those cases, yeah, you don't need to go any further. If you're just a one person, two person office in terms of your phone needs, then uh, the cloud systems make a lot of sense. Now, pricing. Where did I get these numbers from? Well, I'm gonna leave links, but one thing I noticed right away is Ring Central is nice. They publish all their prices. We're not a Ring Central reseller, uh, so there's nothing I can do. I don't resell actually for anything on this list, but I was looking through the prices on this uh, site called priceithere.com and they list out in roughly between 20 and $25 a month is what a lot of the different phone systems are charging. And Ring Central publishes it. A lot of the other companies where contact our salespeople and let them hound you forever and we'll tell you the prices. So I'm, I'm just gonna show uh, that as some comparative phone options, but Ring Central because they publish the prices right here. And if you prepay annually, you can save 33% and they have $24.99 a month. And like I said, if you're that small office and you don't wanna buy an on-prem system, 25 bucks a month for your phone or for each phone, eh, not too bad. And that's also annually because if you look at it monthly, it's much more. Now let's go back to the annual price here. We will be basing this on annual pricing um, for the sake of this video, but yes, I know it's technically not gonna met line up when you see the numbers because I broke down monthly recurring costs, but you know, you're actually paying them annually, but we'll, go, we'll cover those in detail when we get to the numbers part. VoIP MS, now this is the alternative. When you buy an on-prem system, you still gotta buy your dial tone from somewhere, we really are happy with VoIP MS. Full disclosure, yes, there's an offer code I have for VoIP MS. They're not channel partner only or require any offer code to sign up, but it does help the channel if you do sign up through VoIP MS. They're a service we use here at the company. They're a service we uh, recommend to our clients. We really like VoIP MS. And a couple different options, pay per minute plans, um, you, 85 cents per line, uh, 0.0 zero nine per minute. Yes, that's please note that's really low per minute rates or they have 425 per DID for an unlimited plan um, up to two channels versus unlimited channels over here. So there's a couple different uh, differences here. You're gonna have to calculate how many minutes you use to figure out exactly how much it's gonna cost you. Now, these are outgoing rates of 0.01 cent. These are in incoming rates of 0 0.009 cent. So roughly just under one cent a minute for uh, the incoming calls and 0.01 cents for the outgoing and you have a line cost for every line you have, every direct dial, not every phone. That's a good thing I wanna make sure people don't conflate. You may have one phone number, but 20 phones. And for example, us, we have a single phone number and we have eight or nine phones in the office right now. Um, we have seven people usually using them. There's not a limit. That's why it's the channel's usage is unlimited, but we it all comes from or goes to one single phone number for us. So 
It's going to depend on your use case. When you look at some of the other cloud systems, a lot of times there are one-to-one -one ratios. So for every phone you have, they tie to, and I know RingCentral, I believe, still does this, tie it to a phone number. Even if it's not your main number, they need other numbers to tie it to. So there can be some other costs associated with the RingCentral. But to keep it simple, we're just going to assume the $24.99 uh, prepaid annually. Now, the numbers here, this is quote issued to McTestface and McTestface is our test client that we use things. But this is actually just a cloned quote from exactly uh, what we just sold to another client with 13 systems. So, complete phone system, PBX Exact UC25 with three year warranty, bronze level support, 12 Sangoma S505 phones, one Sangoma S505 sidecar, so that's the expansion, uh, Yealink, W60P, the cordless, and um, like I said, it's a pretty solid phone system that we sold them here. Uh, we have our on-site installation of the phone system at 450, the non-number porting assistance to port their numbers over to VoIP MS. They actually have a couple different numbers, three of them they're gonna be porting, uh, 240 for that setup there, and that's gonna, total cost to get this whole thing set up $6,918. So let's put these on spreadsheets so we can talk to the numbers. So Ring Central, still gotta buy phones. Now I put $100 per phone for Ring Central. Granted, it depends which phone you buy. Some phones are gonna be a little bit less, some phones a little bit more, and Ring Central sometimes offers deals where they'll roll the phones into the uh, monthly recurring, or they may offer you a discount uh, for an upfront purchase on the phone because you signed a deal with them for a couple of years. There's different options, but we just put it at $100 a phone, but I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet so you can copy it and adjust it yourself uh, to do the calculations. But at $100 a phone, that's your upfront cost. Now, the upfront cost for putting an on-prem free PBX system like we do, well, it's a lot more. It's uh, gonna be, like I said, this is the install, not just hardware prices, but the us coming and setting it up. Um, that would be not included here for Ring Central because you have to set up yourself. Well, Ring Central, it's pretty easy, plug it in. And the client could have opted to plug it in themselves, but they chose to pay us to come out and set it up. But that is all part of that total. One other thing, a caveat before we go any further numbers, yes, Ring Central for that price does offer their own custom uh, video service, which is actually rebranded Zoom. So that is a feature you don't get with free PBX, but that's also a feature most people already have with whatever they're using, either Office 365 or G Suite. Um, but I'll at least mention it. it is worth noting that, yes, that you're going to get that with Ring Central. You're not going to get that with free PBX. So there are, it's, I'm trying to make it as close of a comparison as I can, but it's not 100%, obviously. So back over to monthly recurring. So assuming you prepaid annually, but we divided it by to see what the monthly recurring is, you're looking at with 13 phones at the... $24.99 a month. So, so what we have here is $24.99 times 13, which equals $324.87 a month. And when we look at the monthly recurring for VoIP MS, so they paid all the money up front, but now they're on VoIP MS. And this is based on their minutes usage uh, for exactly how many minutes they use. And it comes out to be $25 per month. That's uh, not bad. So what does this look like annually? So year one, you're going to spend $3,898.44, not including some other taxes and things they throw in there. And uh, year two or year one, you're looking at $325. After year two, another $3,898.44. And you're technically paying it a year up front if you're wanting that price or you'd be paying more. Um, and year two, we're still paying $325. Where does that put us after two years? Well, Ring Central, uh, once you start adding up the upfront costs and year one and year two costs, we're at $9,096 versus on prem $7,568. So a $1,500 savings only after two years. But how do you look at that asset over time? Well, year three, year four, year five. And I'm assuming a five year life cycle on phone systems, which you know they last longer than that. Um, we've seen phone systems and generally speaking, even free PBX ones that have been running, sitting there, not updated, no one's ever touched them, no maintenance plan or anything. And they're running seven years later, perfectly fine. The phone systems are pretty solid and uh, provide you use good hardware to build them on. They do last a long time, but let's look at a five year. So after year five, including here's all the monthly recurring, but let's also look at the total for all the parts and everything we did to set it up and all the monthly recurrings all summed together. Ring Central has us at $20,792.20 and on-prem is $8,543. Now, five-year savings of $12,249. So that's fairly substantial. Uh, that's just over five years on an office with 13 people. Now, 
what other exceptions, what are the things I'm leaving out? And I will admit, I'm leaving some things out. What about if they needed to change something? We've actually found that yes, people need to change things occasionally, not as much as you might think. Um, a lot of times phone systems aren't quite set it and forget it, but you know, a lot of times unless they're uh, changing a lot of employees and staff, there's not a lot going on with the phone system uh, other than maybe changing a name here and there, small billable increments. Yes, you maybe uh, clients are spending another $200 a year unless they're really firing and hiring a lot of people. And usually the clients that we have that are going through people, uh, they don't even bother assigning the phone a name. They just call it, you know, accounting or dispatch or some generic name because they know that employee may not last there long. So they usually have strategies around that. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm, you know, you're, you're going to have those little billings for the move ads and changes that may occur over time, but they're really, they're not going to be $12,000 worth of move ad change over the years. So I'm going to tell you, you save a lot of money on this over time provided that you're willing to set up something like VoIP MS and manage it. Now, if you want to pay us to manage it, companies do that as well. Or, you know, you can do that if you're an IT person, you want to manage it for them and put a small markup, you can. What I've seen a lot of times in the phone system markets is putting substantial markups on there. And what's really happening is, well, uh, people have Google and they start looking for how do we buy VoIP services. And some companies that are not Super tech savvy, uh, figured out really quick, wow, it's not that hard to use VoIP MS. I don't need a uh, degree. I don't need to have a computer science degree to understand how this works. You get an on-prem PBX system, you plug it in. Now you can choose different PBX systems and still use VoIP MS. I just happen to really like the way it works with free PBX. And I know some people are going to uh, be asking, of course, can I review their favorite VoIP system like 3CX or whatever. We're very familiar with free PBX. I really like the system. I like the Sangoma implementation of it. Uh, we've kind of settled on that. It's a lot to learn many different systems. We have clients with different systems who we still put on VoIP MS and it's worked. That does include companies with 3CX. I'm just less familiar with it. I don't know all the pricing on it. We're also not a 3CX partner. Uh, free PBX is free as the name implies. We like the Sangoma implementation because you get a couple extras with it um, for some of the licenses. And you know, I'm not going to get too off topic on that, but we think it's a really solid product and it works quite well. Well, now, the overall, the other thing that I know that I've gotten in a couple, um, not heated at all, but debates of business philosophy is I have those VARs who have contacted me, the multi-resellers of phone services that want me to start reselling all their options and putting 20, 30% markups so you can get commissions on it and things like that. Um, and they're already also making a commission on it. One thing this does is break that business model because you're selling direct essentially with VoIP MS and VoIP MS pricing is kind of what they, maybe they pay a little less, but you kind of get the idea what they're paying for it. And we've taken some clients clients that were paying, you know, $400 a month in phone bills, brought them down to like 80 bucks a month. It's, it's substantial savings we've done, especially with some of the larger clients by putting them on this. And that's with us managing it, even with us managing it for a very small percentage markup. I, I say small percentage because some of these companies are just used to, and I guess that's just the way the phone market worked for a long time. They're used to 10,000 or some incredible percentage markup on selling it. And then not answering the phone, then not really doing any service. And it's not that I'm complaining about people that make money uh, or anything. I'm someone who charges for my services as well. But man, some of these companies we pulled away from, they were not easy to deal with, not easy to get any help from, and they were marking up the bill. And then to find out one of them, when we logged into their free PBX system, yes, they had an on-prem system and they were paying this company for the phone bill. It was substantial. It turns out they were using Vitality in the back end. We've seen all the settings in free PBX and go, oh, look, they're just using Vitality, which is an also like another competitor to uh, VoIP MS and also he has the same, roughly the same rates and you can kind of see their markup on there. So, you know, switching these companies over, which like there's different business philosophies. You may or may not agree with me. And I know there's somebody with their caps lock on punching in your comments down uh, below, I'm sure. But um, I'm just showing you the numbers and showing you what you can save and showing people what they can save. We've done this for quite a few of our clients. We're doing it for a lot more of them. We've kind of settled on the combination of free PBX and VoIP MS together. It works really, really well. And uh, clients are really excited when you're saving them a lot of money. They're going, wow, you guys are doing something for us that's helping us. And it is more of working with the client to create a savings plan versus I've seen some IT people and sorry if I, I maybe you disagree with me on this, but they try to resell everything at massive markups to try to make everything they touch, any type of touch point with their client becomes a way to mark something up as opposed to just leveraging knowledge. And it's a little bit of a different business philosophy than, when, than I have. So um, maybe I'm wrong. At least someone will tell me I'm wrong, uh, but I'm going to keep doing it this 
this way. I'll leave links to where you can see all this. This is kind of like a summary of how we do foam systems and how we started, you know, helping some of these clients transition to it. So whether or not you want to put it in a cloud is still ultimately up to you. I just like to put information out there, leave links so you can do your own reading, make your own informed decisions, because I think that's what's important. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.